Hey guys, it's me, Fierji here. Today I'm going to be playing a spooky game called Incoherence. So yeah, without wasting more time, let's grind to it. Play. Now I did not miss this one this time by like four days. She is dead. She is fucking dead. All right, starting off strong. Well, well this well, this got me good. <laughs> yeah, what? Ooh. What a, what's a nice painting? Um, almost naked girl. He said some. Okay, I need to get dressed. He said something on reply to my comment that this may be good for YouTube. Um, might get age restriction. Uh, probably not. Uh, I think I think it's pixelated enough. All right. Okay, this painting calm, calms me down. Okay. I mean, yeah, it looks nice actually. I like that. Of course, I like it higher qual quality than PSX, but mm, it looks nice. All right. Okay, prescribed drugs. I'd rather smoke. So smoking isn't good for you. My my therapist has not called yet. Okay. Well then. Water the plant. Locked. Doing it. Okay. Watch TV. Dang. I want to do one thing. Okay. Nothing on TV right now. Oh, is that right? Oh, keys. Okay, I'm gonna assume we need to change clothes. Dang. Turn off, turn off the AC. Looks like we're in a motel room. Look at this. Alright. It looks like we're in a motel room. Deck. Now we wait for the call. Okay. Um. Well, what, what, what can we do in our spare time as we wait for the call? Watch TV? Dang it. Come on, watch the TV. Come on. Th the therapist says that watching TV calms you down. <laughs> okay, I'm screwing around. Like I said, not bad game so far. It looks pretty good, and story seems to be well made so far. Oh, the the, the therapist is calling. Yes, Doctor Hawkins, I am on my way. Oh, all right, we have to go. Oh dang! Oh, we have to grab the keys. <laughs> it's obvious. All right. Well, so far, not really spooky. I mean, we're just going to a therapist. Well, there's gotta be a reason we're going to therapy, right? Hmm. Wait, what? Bruh. I grabbed the keys. What do you mean? Yeah, what? I grabbed the keys. This makes zero sense. Oh, oh, it's this door. Okay. Doctor Hawkins is in room sixteen. Okay. Why is your kid just standing in the hallway? No, what about don't go? No, we're obviously going to start preventing the horrors. No, what happens if do go the wrong way? No, actually, Diamond said it was on like what? One ending. Okay, we're at room sixteen. What? Let's go the other way. I also want to talk to his kid right here. Yeah, why not? Unless the kid's not there anymore. Oh, he is. Oh, we can't actually. Okay. <laughs> I think it's done subscribe around. Let's go to the. So I'm, just, I'm trying to prevent the horrors, as you can clearly imagine. Yeah, there's only one ending, though, so. There's no. Well, who are you? I can't interact. Alright. Knock, knock. Oh? Thanks a lot for visiting me in the hotel. I, I understand this might not be your usual pr practice, but I really need to talk. Dr. Calkins, I'm glad you decide to do this again. Considering your your position and, and tragic circumstances, I was more than willing to help. Can you tell me once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money f for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night I had the same nightmare about her and, and it was a torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, at least for now. I do not have to worry about paying the rent, and I can enjoy a hotel pe pizza. Okay. Okay, what's this crap? I just know it's that. You know, I'm going to look at the guy, you know. But then you see his creepy face. What the hell? The owl is less cr creepy, of course. But that's cr <laughs> okay. okay, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You... You you talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? 
they are very re real at times, but usually when I wake up, the, the, the nightmare does not end. I have this deep feeling, more more like a voice telling me to do something. What does that voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? It is very important to say it out loud to to ensure it that it is not real. The voice tell me tells me to kill someone. Well, at least the voice is tell you to commit suicide. See? You already win by like a hundred points. Because you usually go to therapy for one to cure yourself. Yeah, it's like the uh, common one. This is. You're actually good. Like what? But who is this? Some it better not be the th like Doctor Cockins. Better not be. To kill? Who? Does the voice spe specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide? Okay, I need you to fo to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister, and she is so real. But there is something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see your sister in this room right now? Well, if it's been this creepy face, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is a creepy. Oh, Kate, Kate, Kate. Um, okay, that actually got my heart going. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? A if that was our sister, oh my god, I'm glad she's dead. Holy cow. I'll say it's just a ghost from a damn. It was creepy. I'm sorry. I am sorry. My head hurts. The medication is not helping at all, and I don't know what to do. I fucking don't know how, how to get her out of my head. Kate, I needed to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. We will meet again in three days, alright? If there is an emergency, please call me. Alright, alright. I will try to do the med the meditation technique you you told me about thanks again for the talk it means more to me than you think you imagine looking forward to to the next visit all right well, let's get out of here before the ghost haunts me uh i should go to my room oh i forgot what my room was dang it i hate when i forget okay i'm just gonna i'm just gonna press on doors on t oh What's this old man? Oh, that's a nice picture. What are you doing? I can't even talk with, with you. Better not be ghost, I swear, Christ. Alright, what room is mine? No! I didn't see. Great. Oh, nice, it's 03. Okay. What is that on the table? A note? Dear, dear Miss Anderson. We hope this letter finds you well, and I want to extend our appreci our appreciation for choosing Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that, that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our st staff regarding loud banging noises and unpleasant door odor. <laughs> it's a door o odor or originating from your room. To ensure the comfort and and, and drink and tranquility to, to of our guest we kindly request that you please adhere to to the hotel's noise policy and be mind, mindful of your noise level if there's a specific issue or concern that that requires our our attention please do not he hesitate to contact the front desk we we appreciate your understanding and and cooperation in this matter we look forward to, to to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Sincerely, Velvet Fist the Hotel Manager. Damn, got a complaint from, man from the manager. I should probably move out of here soon. Oh my god. Whatever. I should put those clothes in the closet. Alright. I thought I was talking about that on the bed, but she called the table. <laughs> yeah, I was like, huh? But yeah, this is actually gang a good game. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, the stories. I'm surprised this isn't paid. Yeah, what? Seems really good to be free. Yeah, what? Yeah, that makes me curious. Alright. Somehow I am tired. I should lay down. Hmm, the spirits are draining your energy bill? T turn on the TV. Oh, nothing on TV right now. Come on. I'm making this spooky. Okay. Let's take your pillage. Oh, okay. 
We're told to take our pillage. Oh, who is knocking? Can't they leave me alone? Hopefully you locked the door. When can we open this one? This one's saying it was saying it was locked when we first started playing. Right, the keys are right there. It's grabbing this. Who is knocking? Excuse me. Hello. Um. What the fuck? I should cl close that. Hmm. This weird door. I don't know. Oh, it goes to. That makes sense. It goes to a bat. Oh, it's gonna be a massive screamer. This looks like this. Yeah, that PT scare. Oh no. Close. <gasps> I got it. It's the scare of PT. Oh. Fuck the lights. I should get my phone. Um. What? Oh, that's cool. Locked. Okay, that's cool. It just changed the environment while we're hunting for our phone. That's. It's actually a good game for us. What? Look at this. Now, not, not only a story, but holy cow. I'll see that scare. Oh my. I expected something. It's it was a cracked open door that we had to walk really close to. I expected something, but it still got me. Oh my god! All right. <laughs> yeah, it's actually good so far. All right. Well, we can't do much, as you can clearly imagine. What the hell? Oh, there's a note on the bench. All right. Why the fuck did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here, but as usual, she has too many fucking pr problems to deal with. Unlike me, a drug ad addict is who is trying to break free from all of this. Okay. Well done. Is there more notes? Like I said, story and yeah, the game itself. Oh my god. They gave me a heart attack. Is there a key we're supposed to find or something? How much you bet the oh, how much you bet this door works now because we read the note. That makes sense. I'm gonna try this door. Dang it. <gasps> Alright, I reckon that door's locked. Wait. <laughs> it's like 20 click clicks per second. I can have a go with her. Oh. See, I knew. I didn't know actually. <laughs> what hell? It's a PT now. Oh. Yeah, it loops the same corridor, so it's gonna be different stuff. So we have to keep keep on the lookout. Okay, what's this wheel wheelchair here? Probably not, cause there's no on. Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to be a better self. Yeah, but but what is the point? My my sister doesn't give a shit anyway. I might die tomorrow. She won't even re remember. Okay. Gotta say, what dark story though? Yeah, what? <laughs> All right. All right, another loop. Ooh, oh, that's different. Can we look at that? No, that that's different though. There's stuff on the benches now. I don't think those are. I just got computer now. Where's that? Oh, freak! I'm not paying them that much attention. All right, no new notes. Oh, never mind. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken things. But maybe my sister is interested. May maybe. If she can pick up the phone and, and at least once be curious, all I can do is hope for the best bullshit phrase. Okay. Um, why can't we exit the loop? Oh, great. Something's gonna happen. Oh, no. And not good things happen when you can't exit the loop in like PT and stuff. Um, what was that? Is this painted from our hotel? Well, it's, well, it's obviously some kind of dream. Yeah. Okay, so we can't escape the hallway. Hmm? Is there some... Oh. Oh. Demography details. This year-old patient presents for... For of alcohol and, and cannabis withdrawal. History was obtained from, from the patient. Chief complaint. I want rehab. I have, I have been using general history, circumstances of, of admission. Patient is a single year old AA woman with, with bipolar disorder, alcohol and, and cannabis abuse. Other dependents who was admitted with symptoms of depression, including CAH of, of voices telling her to hurt herself. She has done outpatient program and wants to change your life this time Re referral papers refute 
Discharge sum summary. Discharge instructions. Physical exam reviewed. Okay, this must be the sister, I imagine. Uh, can we look through that again? I'm guessing we'll have to look through this one, too. Yep, okay. That's why we couldn't get out. It's like, huh? Yeah, why can't you? Nothing here. I should I should search the rest. Okay. We already did search. Oh, there's oh, there's another one here. Okay. All right. All right. Nothing here. All right. And we already read that. Okay, let's go through. The door. Yes. Um. Um. Oh, come on. Um. Weird alien creature thingy. Do not scare me. I am prepared. <laughs> oh, sorry. Was I'm gonna. Exp I'm. I'm expecting some something to happen. Right, let's just leave. What's that sound? Oh, the computer. How's that on? Same plugged in. Okay, we don't do this. We don't do anything with the computer. Let's just go. Yeah, let's just go. Yep. Shit, the battery died. Now what? Oh, great. We used a flashlight. I don't think we could do anything about that, actually. Oh, God. Yeah, this is a game that's actually getting creepy. One note. Do you feel it now? Do you feel guilty? You, you selfish bitch. You, you abandoned me when I needed you. You made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back. Go back and end this. Um. Well. Wait, like actually turn back? Okay. You know, I'm in favor of getting out this hallway as soon as possible. So, or are you getting closer? Um, no, I don't care. Yeah. I'm gonna look at you as I go back. Okay, I should check my sister first. What? The sister's in the bathroom. She, she's dead. What? Oh, this is bad. So just gonna... Turn on the light. Wait, grab your phone. No. Okay, why's the picture tilted? Why's her blood? Um, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I actually expect some love, like a jump scare. Okay. Well then. Oh, something's gonna happen. What? Oh, uh, so that's what the odor is. Yeah, wait, I guess we kept the dead body of her sister. Why would you do that? That's so morbid. Like, therapy's not going well for you. If you keep the dead body of your sister in your bathtub in your hotel room. Okay. Well, I checked on her. I mean, we're doing with the syringe. What? Oh, I'm in favor of leaving. Honestly. No, no, no. We're packing up our bags and we're leaving. Uh, called, called the cops and get yourself arrested. Oh, that's a gun. We well, picked up the gun. <gasps> Game by Niven Hedinger. Well, that's just sad. Yeah, the game just ended with us shooting ourselves. Dang, imagine you arrive into that scene. Oh my god, that'd be so sad. Like, yeah, you see a person, you know, they shot themselves in the head. But when you go in the bathroom, you see her sister in the bathtub. Just like inches away from the other dead body. What? Special thanks to you for playing. Well, no problem. This is actually not bad. Uh, won't be surprised if this video gets age restriction, but it's going to press escape. And this game took me 20 minutes to play. Well, you know, I've read through almost everything, so. Oh. Oh, I thought that was Windows. I was like, please don't. No, it's the game, I think. <laughs> I thought it was a sound like Windows, but I was like, please no. I, I just did a whole recording session. Come on. Okay. I'm going to say, not bad. This project was made in two weeks. I, I I intentionally wanted to sell the game, but because of the lack of intuitive mechanics, decided to make it available for free. Thank you so much, everyone, for the support. If you have any suggestions, comments, feedback, please do share. It truly means a lot. Best of all. Oh, this game was good. I was going to say the story's really good. Like, I'm surprised this wasn't paid. Also, yeah, the game itself, like, like yeah, the, the scares and stuff was really good. But yeah, I gotta say, this was actually solid. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it's an age restriction, though. Damn. I mean, I played worse. Yeah, I played that uh, My Eyes Deceive game. That's doing fine, so... 
Yeah, but this, like, more pours out the story. My eyes deceive had you figure out on your own, right? Yeah. But yeah, I guess say not bad, though. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe for more videos, and take care. See you in the next one.